this is the Contemporary Christian Music Classroom. I, of course, am Professor J. It's me, it's me, it's guys. And we're here with uh, the DJ himself, the DJ from the Remnant Hip Hop Show. I'm trying D- to get his attention so that he knows what I'm calling him. I, I hear you. DJ, DJ Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Okay, so your head was in your phone. You weren't looking at me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting stimulated. But <laughs> <laughs> getting distracted by those simulations. <laughs> but, but don't forget, we got the all go together, right? Here, so <laughs> He's talking we got about the man, Super he says Steph. <laughs> Super Steph. Super Steph is the birds are playing as me. I can't even, I can't right now with none of these. No. I just can't. He, he, he was talking about uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the, what was it, a simulation? Yeah, you know, when some, something that seems real isn't real, and you're using that instead of uh, relating to God to, for your strength. You get addicted on the phones, the video games. That's what we've been talking about in the Contemporary Christian Music Classroom today. Can I can I ask you a question though, Jay? All right. So when you when you send when you put out a post and it's a post of encouragement, right? Or if you maybe if you put a prayer out and you you know, or or maybe you might even talk to God, but you put it on Facebook. Do you believe God hears that or I, sees it? I believe that God hears the thoughts that are in our hearts, mm-hmm. and I think that in order to write a prayer, you got to think about it first. Okay. So just like when the Bible talks about, you hear my thoughts and you hear my prayer prayers okay i think that god hears your thought before you and your prayer before you even speak it before you even write it i think that when you write it though you're giving like when you actually take the time to write it that's right. a good way of reminding yourself that you've prayed that prayer and that god's gonna very fulfill good it. very good brother you answered that well i can't even i i can't yeah that when i say perfect perfecto perfecto now the one thing i do have a little bit of problem with is you, you we all have at least Five of these people on our Facebook pra- Uh-oh, page here we go. Here we who go. um who aren't asking for prayers but are asking for attention. Psh, I, I just <laughs> talked about that earlier. It's thirsty mm-hmm. people out here who are just really really like they want attention. Yeah. Y'all, I'm going through. Saints, please pray for me. Yes. Hash, hashtag no pray for me 2017. Yeah, yeah. No plenty yeah, of them. Yeah. Thirsty. Yeah, I know plenty of them too, plenty man. And I think that this really ruins it for the because there are so many people who actually use it as an outlet because sometimes you don't have that person who's right there and you feel that if you just put it out there into right. the internet that maybe someone will connect with you or have a right the right word. Mm-hmm. But I think when you have these people who are quote unquote attention hogs or hogging all the attention, you see that we kind of just like remember like when GoFundMe first came out and you saw a GoFundMe page and you're like oh you know what this story I, I, I see what this person's going through let me give them 20 bucks <coughs> but now it's like you see a GoFundMe page and it's like what these guys want what what, what, what do you guys want now yeah. it's like it's like because everybody abuses everything yeah. they don't you know what I mean it, it no longer becomes a, a, a vital outlet it becomes somewhere where it's those you know like all right let's go here this is like with Instagram and Facebook now before you couldn't put profanity and all that stuff mm-hmm. up there, and girls couldn't shake their behinds the way they could. Now, yo, mm-hmm. it's a form of it's another form of prostitution. That's why on I'm there. not on Instagram no more because that's why much. that's what it was, right? It's too much. Yeah. I had to I had to get up, give it up. Yeah, man. And yeah. I found that uh, it was interesting is the uh, wilding. As things become uh, more pop, more popular, Facebook will change their guidelines to say, "Oh, this is not um, pornographic. This is art. Right, right. right. This is art." So because it's, it's, it's all about the likes. It's all about mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. With if you ever noticed, man, with Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, the more likes that is put in, is the attention that's to the to their Facebook and mm-hmm. social media. Now, I ain't even talking about to the person. I'm talking about to the owners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's money for them. Every like that you push. You know what I'm saying? It's really money. And it's I'm, money. And here's something. Anything that's free, quote unquote free. If you're it's using not really free. If you're using something that that's free, that means that you're the product. Yep. If you're using mm, something that's free, that's that you're stuff, the Jay. product. When you're on Facebook and you make all these likes, oh when goodness. you make all these statuses, that's when you good. make all that's these stuff. comments, they take all of that data and they just sell it mm. off. Wow. So we're on Facebook for free, but they get to say, hmm, Stephen Pfeiffer seems to be a fan of uh, Luke Cage. Yeah. Yeah. And he always seems Facts. to he always seems to be tuning in to what well, what is that doctor show that you watch a lot? Oh, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's, all great, Grey's Anatomy. That's my show too. And so now they know, oh, you know what? He likes Luke Cage and Grey's Anatomy. We got a show coming out that's a little bit like both. Let's advertise it to him. Did you, and advertisers need to know that stuff. They, did you know that they also shuffle you around now? Facebook literally mm-hmm. shuffles you around. Yeah. I used to have people that was yep. on my Facebook, right? And it used to be crazy. Like, I really don't care who's on my, you know, my, my timeline. I, You know, but they be wilding. 
You know what I mean? And now my joint is more all faithful people now. It's like people yeah. that talk about God. Before it used to be like, you know, this and this. And I used to have to get rid of people. But what happened was they shifted my category. They put yeah. you through a filter. And put me, yeah, they filter. Yeah, there put you go. You thank you. Thank you, stuff. They filter. They filter. They, show, they shifted your page? Yeah, they shifted really? my page. My page now that. is always, is, is, is uh, when I wake up, I don't have a bunch of negative stuff on my page. Hmm. I'm, I'm, more, I'm more with the Christians. Hey, you know what I mean? Faith stuff. Facebook does that. They filter. They go through your connections and what you're doing, and they filter your newsfeed around that. Yeah. Because every time yep. I wake up, I see show announcements from other bands that I'm listening right, to. Right, right. And then I see Whirlwind. I see a little yep. bit of hashtag when they go live on their stuff. Yep. It comes right up. Yeah. So they, they they also uh, do that with your friend list too, or yeah. the the suggestions. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Whoever like whoever yep. is uh, some somebody similar to you, like, and they'll have their little uh, their mm -hmm. little slide where they mm -hmm. have all of. The people uh, to, for suggestions, mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, that's another way that they do it. They shift, they they now, they they shift you around, man. Now, of course, you don't like the um, them changing your news feed, and you just want to see everything. You can actually click where it says news feed settings. You can go from uh, top stories, which is where they filter it for you, to most recent, and then you just see almost everything. But they still throw people to uh, uh, through uh, different categories. They don't so. filter my news feed enough because I hit the hide button a lot on my mm -hmm. news feed because wow. I see stuff that's yeah. my defense mechanism if I see something that I know is going to cause me to fall or something right. that's too crazy right. yes. I see stuff and I just yes. hit the hide button immediately hide yeah. hide but hide but you know hide, what though hide. even if you hit the hide button it don't hide like, if your associations right if you have a lot of friends who aren't hitting the right. hide, hide button and they're liking it yeah. if you're if the majority of your friends like something the Facebook's going to assume oh you like that too right and yeah, so, so it, it's just will. like how oh, uh, it's just like how in real life we're learning a lot today. This is it's just like real. how in real life you want to keep who's in your circle uh, with who, where you want to be. In the same way, Facebook, some of us have uh, yeah. 1,000 friends. And when, once you get to that level, you lose control over what you're seeing. Mm. That's true. I That's true. Cause, delete and spree cause, cause, yeah, because Paradox was telling me the same thing. What happens is a lot like, like, check this out. I post. Now, you see, I post, I post, I post, I post, right? Half of my posts don't even get recognized until mm. probably like three, three or four days later. Yeah. I think, and the other thing is, they're also monetizing that now too. Yeah, yeah. They'll say, "Oh, we'll yep. boost your, we'll boost your post so that you can reach ten thousand more people." And then when For you don't, bucks. then when you don't, they're kind of holding you back too. Mm -hmm. So, so Facebook does have a way of really manipulating, man, what what you're doing and posting. They they also they also erase some of your stuff too. Oh yeah. They delete. They go on the deleting spree. Yeah. I've never had that happen to me yet. They I have. Like straight up delete. I haven't had that happen. It's crazy, yo. I'm in Facebook prison. I'm life. I'm I a just life. Just about friend. to say that. I'm no, a life. Just friend. about You're to still say in that. Facebook prison, brother. It ain't no coming back. <laughs> and to uh, to the listeners who don't know what Facebook prison is, it's uh basically. It's you've been you do live streams on Facebook. You right. play great music right. to uplift people. Right. Technically, from a creative uh, creative common standpoint, you should be able to do that without them taking it down because you you're not so. viol you're not violating copyright. Not at all. But Facebook that, has their own little rules because they want to get money off of it. And see, it's all about them. It ain't about the artists. It's about them. They want to they want to restrict it so you can go to them and find. It. It's a way that you could pay for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I could get through all that. Like if I want to really go and, and do my live, my Facebook live, they restricted me to a point that it they making me have to call them and mm. say, "Yo, you know what I mean? All right, what? How much does it take for me to get my Facebook live back?" Mm. It's that's crazy, how, that's how I'm, and I'm money. talking about I'm in prison for life. Like literally, I've been on, I've been in jail for like almost six months now. That's crazy. Jeez. Wow. And that's I don't crazy. do nothing wrong. I don't wow. I watch all these other people do stuff. People that got killed. You know what I mean? On Facebook mm -hmm. Live, jumped on Facebook Live, robbed on Facebook Live, and all I'm trying to do is uplift people through DJing. Yeah. Crazy. If you ever wonder why CCM 101, even though we have the technology to go Facebook Live. I know too many of our artists, like I know last week we finished up with the Newsboys' new song, and it was, it's amazing. It's called The Cross Has the Final Word, and they brought back Peter Fuller, who was the original leader right. of the Loose Boys. Amazing. But of course, I'm not going to post that because they're with Sony Music. And I know Sony is definitely watching their stuff. Yeah. You know, I, I guess what it is with my show is I don't play a lot of music, and then on top of that, a lot of music that I play is really underground. So mm -hmm. it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you good. Yeah. You good. I, you I good. have been for the last six months. And that's why I don't do my show live on the other station I'm at. Yeah. Because I'll do a lot of underground stuff, but occasionally I'll throw something. Right, right, right. I'll throw that's, something else out and there. And that's, that's where I get booted and at. I don't 
that's I'll where I, that's where I get booed to that because I do my remnant. Yeah. Like I got a lot of underground music, but then it might be one cross movement song mm -hmm. that 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 catch, catches the uh, copyright. Mm. Not even cross movement. Maybe something. Maybe something like the Beastie Boys. I'll play them yeah. maybe one time. Maybe I'll play a little bit of something else, and then it's, even if it's a ten second yeah. clip. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Yep. I didn't. I didn't did that, and that's what got me in prison. So. You know, I can't even get no bell. I'm past the bell list, bro. Mm. It's it's a wrap. And it's and it and it's really messing me up because of the fact that I can't go live, you know what I mean, with some of the major stuff. Now now that I'm seeing more uh promotion, right. Right. Now I can't use it. Well, you know what? It's a shame because people are getting addicted to social media as a stimu as a simulator. <laughs> As a stimulator, <laughs> getting addicted. Right? Word of the day. They're getting our people getting are addicted, right? And and they're getting addicted because they want attention. They're getting addicted because they, it, maybe it's an outlet for them to throw off on other people, bully people. Maybe it's a way for them to get to pornography or whatever else. But then you got people like like uh, Remnant Hip Hop, like DJ right. World went in his mm -hmm. squad, who's trying to put some uplifting things on there, and you're attacking that instead of coming at all of the craziness that's on social media. That just doesn't make any sense to me. And people are getting stimulated on social media <laughs> with all this inappropriate stuff. You know, here's something that would probably make you even more <laughs> angry. Stimulated, huh? See, uh, a while back, I believe it was like 2013, Facebook actually ran experiments on all of its users. Mm -hmm. What? But, yeah. See, you know how, you know, you, you guys remember when a lot of people were uh, seeing a lot of graphic stuff in their timeline? Yeah. And a whole bunch of people were just seeing nothing but nice stuff? They literally report, uh, uh, did that on purpose. They actually published it and, and publicly said, hey, you know what? We uh, ran an experiment on our users. We wanted to see how they reacted if we if we focused on positive uh, stimulus and negative stimulus and see how that affected their statuses. So it's a very interesting study, but also ethically questionable. Because uh, like, like, we're all like we, we sign up to be part of this free site. But like I said earlier, if it's free, you're probably the product. See, I remember I've been a, I've been on Facebook since it opened back mm -hmm. in 2004. I remember when it just was for college students and it literally was just a bunch of college students on there talking about, oh, I got a test today and da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right. It has completely shifted into I can't even explain what a Facebook worldwide is. Worldwide phenomenon. Now. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. It's crazy. I remember when MySpace was more popping than Facebook. Hey, yes. and I MySpace. hated MySpace. Yes. Man. MySpace was popping. Yes, it, was. It, it was yes, difficult. It was. You had your top five. Mm. What? <laughs> your top five? <laughs> yep. And don't let you break up with somebody. They they're leaving your top five. Yep. Someone else is coming up. <laughs> That's true. You understand? You could you could then you, they start letting you be able to uh what do you call them? Uh, uh, uh um customize your customize profile. Customize your profiles and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Oh, Play yeah. your music. certain music. Yeah. 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 Track, now, I yeah. think that was the hottest drum when they had the music part because everybody yeah. used to pages mm -hmm. used to be banging. Oh, the music yeah. pages was popping, man. You go to your favorite artist music page on MySpace, man. You know MySpace is still going though. It's still going. But it's just ain't popular. Yeah, no popular. Well all the uh, young people are using now instead of MySpace. Space. They're mostly on Tumblr because you cut. You have a customized feed. Okay. You have a. Uh, you can custom if you know a uh, HTML or if you want to download a template. It's free. You can. Can have, I go live on t on on Tumblr? You know, actually, actually, you know, I gotta think about it. I'll get back to you on that one because yeah. they. You can do a lot of things on Tumblr, and it wouldn't surprise me if there was a way for you to go live. On I Tumblr. got five thousand friends, <laughs> and and I can't and I can really can't do nothing. I mean, I'm gonna tell you the honest to God truth. You think about uh, you think about Periscope? Oh no, I got that. You got that. I, I just don't. My my thing is, man, it's a lot of it. You, you know, you got us on Facebook through Periscope. I think. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah. Oh, it's, it's, it's Twitter. It's Twitter. It's Twitter. Yeah, oh, Twitter. 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 And Twitter, and and Twitter, and Twitter, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter and uh, Periscope is one. They're one. So so my my thing with social media is to a point to where it's though like using my live man I I use it to reach a lot of people you know what I'm saying I got five thousand friends and I still yo it's crazy because I could go live and I only get three out of the five out of the five thousand friends that I have on the Facebook you know what I'm saying? but I don't I don't worry about that because it, my thing is to minister to those three mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. If if I can have that outlet to be able to minister to one, then that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I go hard at it. I go hard at it. So my 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 social my social uh, uh uh media stimulation is being able to bless people with with what God has given mm -hmm. me. When Jesus said you'll do greater, that's what I believe that that's my greater. I think one of the most amazing, one of the most amazing things about this and what you do is that you know how like the disciples they had to go on foot. 
Mm. If they were, they had like you now. I like the foot now. Don't listen. I'm gonna tell you this. I ride. I ride for the foot than the than the, the social media, bro. All this here. I like to be one with people. I like to see people. I like fellowship, and I want to touch you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that old, you know what I mean? You hear and then you never see people or people be like, yeah, I be there. They only saying that, man, just because, mm. you know, it's on the social media. But how many of those people really come out yeah. to the events? Well, what I want to, what, that's true, but what I want to get to is like literal foot. You know, they had to walk from this place to this place. That's what he's talking about. That's well, what no, I'm, I'm talking about. Well, I mean, I mean like, like I'm talking about beyond just being in person. That like they had to walk miles and miles. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. about. Okay, okay, so we're on the same page then. Yeah, okay. we're, on, we're on the same job. Okay, the same now drum. I am the opposite. I don't like that. Not 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 that no, I don't I like people you. who do that. I don't like doing. I don't like walking because I actually prefer social media because of the fact that all of my creativity right, is right. showcased the best through that type of stuff. No, like, and I, and I understand that. You know I understand that. I, I see where his zone is at. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Know where your zone is at. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Like me, I'm a fellowship person. I want to be around people. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I like to be around physical. Yeah. They're more the social. You know, the the, mm-hmm. well, the, the digital. And there's something, there, there we go, digital. Yeah, and there's something digital, to be said digital. about that physical interaction. Because when you're physical, it's like this is a real person with real yeah. words. And, it, mm-hmm. and it's so much more meaningful and impactful. And how many people How many people really got a conversation off of, off yeah. of social media? Not a lot of people media. that you meet really don't have a conversation. Yeah, that's that's true. true. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could, I could bust it up and rap with anybody. You that's know true. what I'm saying? That's true. Like the social media then literally robbed conversations from people. It they did. don't talk. They don't talk with people no more. It did. It that's did. true. Now here's the thing. I'm naturally, a, I'm naturally an introvert, so maybe that's what it is. Well, yeah. no, you will see, see, and that's, and that's, that's the difference. And like I get into two. a zone when I, when, it, when the creativity part comes out, I get into a zone. Now, now, but outside of that, it's like I'm chilling. Now, mind you, Jay, what about you? Let's let's turn this to you because you 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 you're more of a you're more of the quiet type of you know inner 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 house type of person. Now, but 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 I see you, I see you socially outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but. You, I think you more. I'm oh, not. Oh yeah, I'm no, not quite, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I honestly, I'm much more introverted. Like, what I'll do is that might be an outing. Okay. And that might be my one outing for a, a while, and I okay. have to like save up all my energy to be shaking all those hands, Got talking you. to people, and all that stuff. But what I really like to do is organize things to the point where everyone is in the place where they can be m- reaching the most people. But like, does that stimulate you? Oh yeah, that's like. Like even with, with uh, the contemporary Christian music classroom, where right. I saw, I'm right. like, oh, I'm like, okay, I don't have everyone here that I want to have right. here, but I see that Steph's here, and he has some some stuff about social media. I see that Remnant Hip Hop is here. Right. I know that he's gonna have something to bring to right. the table, right. and I feel that this platform that we have here, while we, I, while I'm not the type who's gonna be able who who would want who wants to walk and talk to everybody right, right. i feel that the platform will be able to reach there you go that we'll be able to there get you go. not just the listeners right. in the car but right. also this is being recorded right now we right. got listeners on youtube right. that we're right. trying to get right. to we got people all over the world and that what i like about um this is kind of like when you look at the disciples you see that a lot of them went by foot a lot of them had to go from city to city yes. miles and mile miles mm-hmm. uh and they were lucky if they had a horse or a donkey mm-hmm. but now we can spread the gospel from shore to shore all simultaneously yeah mm-hmm. you can go you can go live well unless you're in facebook jail but uh you can go uh <laughs> <laughs> hey i you, got live me now i got i got i got i got some other i got some other joints now i think i think it's cool for us as christians like if we're trying to look for an example of how we can use uh, social media right look to paul in the uh, epistles if you look at the fact that Sure, he couldn't be everywhere at once, but he was writing to the churches. Yeah, and in the same way, he was writing to the churches in all these different regions all across Europe and Asia and even in Africa. Come on, man. And so we have this potential to be modern day Pauls where we're writing to the body. We're, and not there just the body, go. we're there also you reaching the word. Right. There you because go. Because just like Paul's word reaches us now, everything we put onto social media, right. everything that we put for the purpose of the kingdom, we're able to make sure that it's heard. And like DJ Warwin all he says oh the, the remnant. remnant shall be heard the remnant shall be heard and that's true and, and 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 the meaning the meaning of that man jay is that when i say the remnant shall be heard it's it's to a point to where it's though god is like i'm calling those people man that everybody rejected and I'm, those are the people that i'm using you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and and the reason why they're going to be heard is because you have the experience 
You know what I mean? You have the experience to be able to share with people the outlets, man, in the uh, in the in the word, man. That that no that that maybe can reach uh, a whole nother corner that other people can't reach. You know what I mean? And that's that's my that's my thing, man. I keep telling people, yo, the remnant shall be heard. I don't just say that just to say that as that's a good cliche. I say it because I believe it and I also see it mm -hmm. and also I release it. Amen. Because I set platforms for for the remnant to be her. You know, and that made me think. I want to do a quick little experiment right Go now. We, we're going to name three Bible characters. I'm going to point at you guys. You guys are just going to random Bible character, someone that hasn't been named already. All right, you first. Paul. All right. James. Oops. Noah. All right. And Stephen. No, okay, from the Bible. No, oh, okay, I got you. I got ah. you. All right. So we got, um, we got Paul. Uh, James, Noah, and Stefan. Mm -hmm. All right. So, out of those, out of those four random people, how many of them were murderers? Paul. He was. He was Definitely. up and down. Definitely. And you see that you have this, this Moses. Moses also. So that's that's Ooh. Stefan. Nah, 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 I, I just know, was nah, doing, nah. I, and I wasn't. <laughs> I just do that. So, when I, so, I was just catching so, y'all to see I, if y'all was on, on point. And not only that, but Moses also had a <laughs> Moses also had a temper, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and did. so, uh, and then also before Paul made that change, he was pious. He was very, he was very. Oh, uh, my way is the right way. That's right. And you see that that we named four. I'm random, use that word from now on. We had what, four pious. Pious. I mean, yeah, right. We there. had four pious. random Bible people. You right? know, you're pious, right? And half of the, and half of them, half of them. Half of them were people that we would never talk to if, if they were here today. Because we saw Paul and he said, oh, yeah, I used to be this guy who was hunting down people and killing them because I didn't agree with what they were saying. Right. And we look at Moses and we're like, oh, yeah, you used to be a prince and then you uh, killed someone, went into, ex went into exile. And now you're here and leading us around in the desert. These are people who were a part of something who are a part of something that the world would have just rejected rejected them but god was able to turn them around and use them for that's his right. good that's right and that's why I what i love about christ is that he doesn't he doesn't pick up the shiniest he doesn't pick up a shine the shiniest stone he picks up anything and turns it into what's precious that's, and he can that's, use that's, that's why that's what the remnant is the remnants yep. are fragments you know what i'm saying the remnants are fragments it's like god god is the god is the the, the major element you know what i'm saying y'all y'all you, you ever look at the uh you ever look at the uh um nasa channel you ever look at NASA channel well, or watch anything YouTube? about the space? I watch a lot on YouTube sometimes. Well, well, they, they got a NASA channel that, and it actually know that. shows you about the moons. You got that good cable. Them. You got that good cable, dog. <laughs> yeah. If that's what you say. But this this one joint, this one joint, man, I, I learned, man. It was like the moon, the moon, the star. No, the moon and the sun, right? Mm. It's a big element. And it, it has forces, mag magnet forces. Mm. And it draws. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Some some will push your weight and some it draws. And I look at it, man, like how God how, how God made us. He made us, man, to draw people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like through through our through our uh, experiences. Right. This is the reason why people around me, you know what I mean, who the remnant man who we building, because they're drawn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're drawn. And what I do is, man, I organize them, formalize them, and use them mm -hmm. and put them put them back out there. You dig know what I'm saying? I let them know who they are. I'd be like, yo, you're gonna be used. When I hear, I listen, I see. I'm like, "Yo, this is what God wants you to want want you to do then." And, and 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 go do it. You know what I'm saying? Not not putting nobody down, but when you say the remnant shall be heard, you're being heard. You're the yeah. remnant in a whole different in a whole different level. You CCM. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? You're reaching a whole nother level of people. You're remnant. You're reaching a whole nother level of people. You're remnant. You're remnant. All of us are remnant in this room. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not, remnant is only a collective people, man, that God selected, man, for a time such as this. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now, just remind the listeners what time your show is, how long it is, who's on it. Well, oh, well, tonight... We going we we got two wonderful people that we interview in the night. We got uh we got Corey. He's from Atlantic City, man. He has an awesome testimony that's coming tonight. Also, we got Khadija. She's going to be on here tonight telling her um testimony as well tonight, man. And she got the Pretty Women's uh ministry. Um mm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on she's on here tonight. So and then, then we got the whole Remnant Hip Hop Radio Show crew that's gonna be rocking out. I'm be on the ones and twos, you know, putting mm -hmm. a little we on from seven to nine PM. And and the remnant shall be heard. It's another what? Good weather outside Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Gonna be heard all throughout the land. 
And I want you guys to remember that you can also listen to Remnant Hip Hop on the We Have Gospel app. Yes, so sir. If, yes. So if you're listening to CCM 101 right now and you're thinking, I'm going to be driving, I'm going to be I'm gonna be home, nah. you, know, you don't have to get back into your car to hear Remnant Hip Hop. Just download the WEHA. I'm getting ready to get set up now. The WEHA We Have Gospel app because that's coming up in 30 minutes. And for, you, and for those of you guys listening on YouTube, don't forget that you guys can download the app too. And if you miss the show, listen to it on demand. Oh, and that's Pretty Girls Pray. How about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sister Khadijah, she in the building. <laughs> DJ Monty be in the building. You know what I'm saying? She in the building as well. But but yo, man, you know, thank you for that thank you for that platform, man, what you was talking about today though, Jay. That's good stuff and that's stuff that we really do need to know. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the playing the game, you know, the simulations, man, of, of social media, period. And thank you for um not being scared to talk about that. You Keep know, it going. Thanks, for thanks for coming on the show because you know I think it's you can have an interesting topic. Yeah. You but can. you gotta also have interesting people to yeah, discuss it. Yeah. And everyone brings their own part to the table. And that's what I really love about the Mark IV music box. Yeah. So even though this is CCM one on one, you got a little bit of a taste of hashtag to get today with uh Steph here. You got a little bit of taste of remnant. We ain't do this in a minute either, man. You know what I mean? I'm I'm chilling with the hashtag mm -hmm. and CCM. It's been a, it's been it's been about a minute. It's been a long you know what I mean since the last time we last since, time we merged like that. Since we all mm -hmm. sat since yeah. we all sat down and had a nice yeah. full conversation. And this is on family, right? This yeah. Mark Ford. You looking at you looking at you looking at the the massive uh, elements of Saturday night right mm -hmm. here on WEHA. And I just ask everybody, man, that listens to to our shows, man, all three of our shows, man, that y'all y'all donate, man, to your favorite radio station. Make sure y'all. You know, y'all plug in and, 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 and support, man, because we community focused, listeners support it. You know what I mean? But most and importantly, Christ centered. Oh yeah, most definitely. We definitely we definitely Christ centered, man. So, you know, you you wanna you wanna you wanna be stimulated, bless us. I need y'all to stimulate us with this money because we need to get this uh program that we're gonna use yeah. to broadcast all over all social over. media. Yes. It costs a couple hundred dollars a and, month. Um, yep. a, a month? Yeah. A month, what? Because we, because what it is is, it's not just that we're paying for the. First of all, we gotta pay for the equipment, and yeah. then after that, we gotta make sure that we're paying for the subscription fee that we can use it to make sure that we can broadcast on Facebook and YouTube and live stream all live. And once we have that, we'll be able to not only just record these shows and play them over again. It's just that we'll be able to actually not just these shows, but any uh, DJ on on WEHA will be able to go live without. Any problem for how much a month? For only ninety nine a month. Oh, he That's was somewhere. He, he wasn't right there. Yeah, he he was he was simulated, not stimulated. Mm. <laughs> you know, but you know, it happens all. Sometimes, like we're just, you know, we have these plans, and we know that they're possible. He needs a stimulated stimulated package. You know what that is? That's 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 nine people, ten people even who will pledge to give like ten dollars. A month. That ain't bad, man. That's it. Well, yeah. I believe we get. I like believe, an offering line right there. Yeah, I. <laughs> Can I get yeah, ten right? folks to get ten dollars? Yeah, now here's the thing. Our goal. And, and that's eleven people who will pledge to give eight dollars a month with the eight for eighty eight point seven campaign. Sounds good. You know, me. honestly, we could really do it one. We can even though we can have people pledge to give, we can also do it one month at a time. Let them know, hey, we want to go live. We want to show you guys what we're doing behind the scenes in the studio, and we want you guys to be a part of it. And all it do does is uh, takes this much, and then we'll be able to go live this month. Hey, professor. How about we stimulate our audience with some music? This is true. This is the Contemporary Christian Music Classroom, and we haven't played any music for a while because we've just been we've been so distracted by this conversation. It's but it's been, been a good it's, one. It's been a good conversation. It's been really moving, really powerful. But it's time to stimulate our audience with some music. This is going to be Visible Worship with their song "Yours Forever." You're listening to CCM 101 Music with a Message.